Hey everybody, welcome to the Best Family Homestead. So, I know I said that I was not going to touch my pecan tree so all these pine uh, were cut and I had all the siding cut for the house. There's a word you use for that and you tell me all the time, I'm digressing. Digressing, I am digressing. I have been wanting to see some of this pecan wood for, I don't know, it fell about seven months ago. And I still haven't gotten around to cutting it. Now I'm all gonna be getting cut and milled here in the next two weeks with Papa Hugh down here. I, I really, I really want to see, I really want to see some of this. Let's so, do it. we've got a nice big pile of siding there. So I think uh, the weather's beautiful. So what I'm actually doing is I'm just taking a break. I'm just choosing to use my brake to work. To work. Yeah, absolutely. All right, that makes me feel a little bit better when I put it that way. Hey, Aaron. <laughs> Pretend this is a bag of cheese. Yes. Oh, be careful with it. It's sharp. Just, just not as funny without me doing it. <laughs> Follow Aaron on TikTok. Yeah, and and on a side note, if you if you want to see me daily tormenting Robert, plus some other cool uh, behind the scenes stuff. But if you want to see me tormenting Robert with dad jokes, check out Best Family Homestead on TikTok. If you want to see a lot of behind the scenes stuff from Robert, <laughs> serious check out, stuff. Yeah, simply more serious stuff. Um, check out. Sidestep Adventures, Side on, Adventures TikTok. on TikTok. No. And no, we're not. We are not leaving yeah, YouTube. We're not leaving YouTube. We're not leaving YouTube. We just uh, do TikTok randomly throughout the day. That's kind of like our smoke break. Yeah, exactly. Is, uh, we do TikTok, and it's just so much fun to watch his face when I make really dumb dad jokes. It's awful. It's, <laughs> it's great. I've got to say, too, <laughs> that I started TikTok. When I started my TikTok, I did it just to have fun with it. Yeah. And just be funny on it. And now I do more serious videos on TikTok, and Aaron's just cracking dad jokes. Yeah, it is. It's fun. It's uh, that's our smoke break. <laughs> hey, Robert. <laughs> yeah, you know. Hey, Robert. So. I see. If I see, this is gonna start walking off. If I see this, hey, Robert. I'm just gonna be like, nope. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, you gotta have your fun throughout the day. So, right. uh, it could be worse. So now we're gonna have some fun, and we're gonna get into. Uh, some of this pecan. This is the log I'm gonna cut because it's easy to get to. I'm gonna trim it off here. We got the tractor forks under it, so I'm gonna be able to cut it, just drop it, and take it over to the sawmill and start seeing what we're looking at with this wood. And I think it's gonna be uh, pretty special. Problem is if I flip it this way, this is so this is so wide it won't fit in my notch. Right. Um, and it goes. I think I'm gonna pick it up and we'll see if we can because this is so wide. I think if we can pick it up and okay. go this way, put the wide part on here, I think yeah. it'll be fine, and okay. then that goes in the notch.
this one in a little bit. This one? That one? Yeah, I think this side needs to go that way. That's going to be the problem with this pecan, you know, because the pecans branch out so much, right. it's going to be kind of splitting the difference of everything to get as much wood as possible. I think that looks pretty good. And that way we're going to be able, like this is going to be, this crotch cut up here is going to be where it's just unbelievable. Uh, so I think now we can go on time lapse because I do know we are going to have to sharpen these teeth again after cutting that long leaf. Uh, so if you'll start sharpening the leaf, I'll start or sharpening those teeth. I'll start digging everything out and getting uh, our heights and all set. Alright, this is just the first cut. We haven't even gotten down into the center of this log yet. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is this is going to be gorgeous. So, what are the little black spots? Those are uh, beetles. Gotcha. Probably, you know, after it fell or what well, the, the, that might start to go away. Uh, but it's, um, for lack of a better term, dude, it's it's beetle pee. Um, really? That's where the beetles get in there and the excrement uh, causes the wood to turn uh, dark. It actually looks pretty neat. It's going to be pretty once we get on down in there. And now with pecan, if you'll come be my cameraman yes, so sir. I can figure some stuff out here. All right, so I've talked to you guys, you know, talking about doing quarter sawn wood. So right here, I'll be sealed a bit better. You can see these grains go this way. Right, so if I was to right here come down and over this way, for instance, you can see that this, the grain would go, the grain would be rainbowed, which would make it all pull one direction. So uh, starting right here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over probably to here and I'll start going over. I'm going to do these boards five quarter, which is one and a quarter inch. Great, you know, for doing furniture, tables, but I'll start here and I'm going to come down. I'm going to do all these six inches by one and a quarter. So I'm going to come down six inches, come over one and a quarter. And now where this grain goes around, especially when we start here, you can see the grain is going to do this. That's quarter sawn instead of the grain going all the way across the six inch board. What that does is instead of this grain going and blowing everything to cup in one direction, it's going to not pull any single direction because of the way the grain's running. Now, once I get down past this first six inches where I get where the grain's here, then I'm going to have to come across six inches to keep the grain running this way. So, in, especially with pecan, it's gonna be important to keep this quarter sawn. And if you look right here, how this grain gets towards the heart, um, I cannot wait to get down into this log because this is gonna be absolutely phenomenally beautiful wood.
Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys. You can see I'm putting little dents in this as we go. As my blade's getting a little bit more dull, this pecan wood is just so insanely hard um, that it's vibrating and bouncing up and down, which is why I've went from one and a quarter to a little bit thicker, just so I have room to plane everything. But I want you guys to watch, even the long leaf pine that we cut, um, which was really hard, doesn't hold a candle as pecan wood. It's just crazy how hard it is. sad part folks because this log because of how it tapered with this huge end where it split you know I've still got three or four inches over here but it tapers down like a half inch so unfortunately now I've just got to finish slabbing down this uh, or you know leveling the top of this piece so we can cut, cut our next parts but um yeah I wish it was I wish it would uh, I get every single inch out of it but with a big pecan that was just big and bushy, you know, tapered, crooked, uh, you get every piece you can. Um, that's what makes the wood so beautiful, but that's also why it's hard to find because you don't get much yield out of it and pecan trees are worth a lot more living, you know, with pecans than they are being grown for lumber. So the only ones you really find are ones that fell. So we'll finish getting this thing leveled up and then we'll get started. Uh, like I was saying, we'll get started down here, cutting sideways, just going a couple inches at a time so that we can get the rest of uh, the yield out of this log as quarter sawn logs. guys so now you can see why I've been so excited to cut in on this pecan um, I've got walnut oak pine almost any tree that grows anywhere in the south and none of it matches pecan old pecan or even if it's not that old I mean it's just just phenomenal uh, absolutely beautiful Robert was making fun of me. He's like, dude, you're like a kid at Christmas. <laughs> I hope you guys were able to tell how excited Aaron was to cut this pecan because he was just beaming with excitement.